Welcome to Crypto Clicks, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing some amazing, amazing news. This week, I haven't been doing any videos because I had some visitors. I had my friend from Birmingham, um, my main city, um, visiting me in my home country in Cyprus. But a lot has gone on. Yes. And my crypto journey has done it again. He is showing some proof that may show that Ben has been lying about Ben coin. But let's see, see, let's have a look at both sides of these stories, but let's have a look at this. We won't be showing the whole um, video. If you haven't seen it already, um, go on to my crypto journey um, channel and you will see the full story and it's called Ben's um, blah, blah, blah. Again, lying. Yeah, I just lost it. Anyway. Let's do this. In the community once again. And yeah, I didn't think he would do something stupid like this, but it's pretty obvious what's going on here. Ben Armstrong posted, Ben Token is flying. And he shows a post earlier today, it was up 100%. And if you look on Dex Tools, it's up 43%, but we'll give him the 100% positive price action on the day. He says that Ben Token is flying. That's what happens now that Ultra Starter and billionaire Jeff Mahoney have stopped dumping. These are the financial backers of Bencoin. At the end of August, they dumped 30 trillion ben token almost eight percent of the supply after they agreed not to sell the coins until a 500 million dollar market cap so i've seen this happen before where developers like ben armstrong trust people with a lot of money to invest in a shit coin and say hey man please don't sell until we meet a 500 million dollar market cap or something like that but there's no contractual agreement it's just trust me bro of course i'm not gonna sell but of course these guys dumped on the community when probably all this drama came out about ben armstrong and ben token only hit about 120 million dollar market cap so it never even got close and it won't get to a 500 million dollar market cap until there's an actual bull run until there's actual money coming into the cryptocurrency world it doesn't matter if ben armstrong is promoting it it doesn't matter who bear markets are going to be bear markets so that's kind of careless right there already trusting randos to hold a token when they probably just want to make today it's very interesting what you see if you look at one of the wallets that bought that huge amount of ben token today so this is shown um um, my crypto journey has done the research and found out like who's been like, bought a load of like this coin and dumping the the coin. So have a look at this part of the video as well. It's very interesting. Day it ends with nine eight one five, and if you go to the last page, you can actually see that. The first transaction was a swap for Ben token, but you also see airdrop from a wallet called BitBoy Crypto, which it could be another BitBoy Crypto. It's Dubai coin. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? But if you look right here, you can see an airdrop from Ben.eth. Very, very interesting. So why why would this wallet be interacting with the Ben.eth? And yes, it's that Ben.eth. So obviously Ben.eth is a person that BitBoy Crypto took the project over from. The guy he did a bunch of shading dealings with to promote all these shitcoins and then had this weird breakup with Ben Ethan, left a lot of people out of a lot of money. And you know how I know it's his wallet? Because if you just go to his OpenSea account, he has his wallet right here. It's not private information. You go to that same transaction we saw for Ben Token earlier, and that's the same one who received airdrops from Ben.eth. You click here on Ben.eth, and you can see that it's the same wallet. So this wallet, which I think is Ben Armstrong's actual wallet because it has dealings with Ben BitBoy Crypto or whatever, right? Or whatever wallet, and it has dealings with Ben.eth. This same wallet is one of the wallets that bought into Ben Token today. Isn't that little a little suspicious to you? Okay, let's go to the second largest buy on the day which is the wallet that ends in 97 ff now if you go to etherscan you can see that this wallet only has ben token in this wallet so nothing else Surprise. and if you look at the erc20 transactions you can see that two hours ago they got 17 eth and that was all used right to buy ben token isn't that a little suspicious that a wallet that was created just out of nowhere to buy ben token so i don't know if these are buybacks i don't know what they are but to post something so we see there, we saw the video by uh, my crypto journey. Let's go on to Ben and what does Ben say about his coin? Well, again, if you want to watch uh, the whole video, um, go on to his channel. Home of Ben Armstrong, crypto, and you. And boy, do we have an exciting video for you today. And I'm telling you, you're going to want to watch this video if you have any interest in Bitcoin, you're going to want to watch my video. Okay. Watch my video. 
if you have any interest in the show, the next crypto gym, because we're about to totally expose those mother chuckers. Uh, and no, I'm not talking about Lay and I'm not talking about George, um, but everybody else pretty much involved. We're going to. So he's dropped George's name in it. And then I'm going to show you a video of George replying to what Ben is saying now. Explain to you today After why Bitcoin has struggled. We're going to explain to you why Bitcoin took a massive crash last month. We're going to talk to you about the promises that were made and then what, what actually happened. Um, I know none of you guys have heard of this coin because it's a totally useless coin. It doesn't do anything. Um, but it's called Hourglass Token. We're going to be talking about that today, and we're going to be showing you how the people behind Hourglass Token are the reason why, if you're in Bitcoin, Jump this now. And uh, George from Cryptos R Us, and I was on the show uh, for one episode. I was brought in, and this is where um, I really started a relationship with a guy named Jet. And we we're going to talk about that. Jet is actually who hooked me up with Donald Trump Jr. Um, so being my friend, showing me around, like showing me, um, you know, people, he's got connections to Trump and stuff. And, and it was big. Like, I really enjoyed my interview with Donald Trump Jr. I think he's a great guy. Um, um, you know, maybe a man of his word. I mean, maybe can, people can pick that up. But Jet, definitely not a man of his word, which we'll show. Um, but George and Leia have nothing to do with this. And I, I want people to understand, you can go watch a show and it's entertaining. Um, and George and Leia don't deserve probably to be hooked up. They don't deserve to be hooked up with these people. Um, Brian Evans, we're going to be talking about how this is one of the biggest scammers in the entire industry. Um, we're going to show you how he gets all of his followers, um, and, and we're going to break all of this down. Why am I showing you this? It's because the people behind this show, uh, Jeff Mahoney and uh, Jet uh, uh, Cliff Jet Tang is his name. Uh, he goes by Jet or Ultra Starter on uh, Twitter, and we're going to be showing you guys how these guys strategically dumped at the bottom we've got the receipts everybody knows this is going um there is also crossover between some of the previous companies that i worked with and brian evans and cliff as well they're thick as thieves in with um you know some of the uh some of the goings-ons uh wow. that are around the situation wow. and you'll see that they got advanced information about so i'm going to skip a little bit of this i just want to go on to yeah, when he talks about me. Yes. How about that? Look at this cheesy smile. I don't know who that guy is. Um, but, um, you know, there he is with the dev. You can you can see he's a little Weasley guy. Look how Weasley he is. Look at his little cute thumb. Precious. And here you go. You will see um, more of that, um, what the reaction of George when he's making fun of somebody being short and small. As somebody that is proud to be five foot three, I would love to be seven foot ten, seven foot ten, but identify as somebody that is seven foot ten. So if you have a problem for me being five foot three, well, I identify as seven foot ten. Then if you call me short, then you will have the problem. You have the problem, not me, baby, not me. Oh, you can see him hanging out with Brian Evans. You want to talk about another scammer, the king of the scammers? Brian Evans. Everything this guy touches is a pump and dump. The project Bots. Bots was a project that Brian Evans got involved with along with other people and people that were involved in the project. No one talking about. And all of a sudden one night, let's go look at the let's go look at the uh at the bots chart, actually. Let's, let's have a stuff at. here. We're dealing with important stuff. Okay. All right. So hold on one second. Um let me pull that up. Okay. All right. So, I do think personally, personal opinion that like, Bitcoin is like, it will probably will pump, but then it will just dump. Um, a lot of people think that as well. I did have Bitcoin at start and I sold it. Um, will I buy Ben again? Will I buy Ben again? Maybe put a tenner on. Just a cheeky tenner, probably. Just to see how it goes. Might as well join the hype. The camera's not working now, so you don't see my lovely face. Just hear my lovely voice. Um, and uh, Ben and then Ben doesn't really say anything about like his coin. Like just showing like he's just blaming other people. But then 
my crypto journey showed like people like buying coins and it was Ben and it was that Ben.Eve. So you make your de own decision. Uh, but let's have a look at this video, a short video of an update by George. I am George. That's what he says. I like George. Um, so let's have a look at George's um, video here and see what he says. I won't play all, but make sure you do watch um, his video. Or go on to his um, channel, Crypto Us. Those are us. I am George. We're all George. So happy Sunday. It is absolutely beautiful out where I am. 60 degrees, the sun's out, and I'm going for a walk. I told you guys I will continue to do, do these videos because you guys enjoyed the last one so much and gives me an opportunity to uh, get you guys caught up with some of the things that's going on in my life and with the channels, right? So in this video, there are several things I have. Number one, Ben Armstrong had made some damning accusations towards Hourglass towards Jet and towards Brian Evans. So number one, I do want to address everything that he said and give you my perspective of, of everything I have witnessed and everything I've been part of. So yes, that's number one. Number two is I do want to give you guys update on IFL. Number two, I want to give you guys update on IFC. Yes, I have a name. It's called IFC stands for influencer fight club yes there has been some major development so i'm going to share a little bit about the ifc also share a little bit more about what's going on with cru plus and something that happened today that still bothers me to this second so i'm going to share what that is it may seem a little a little petty, but I don't care. I'm going to share it anyways because I think I'm right. All right, number one. Let's talk about Ben Armstrong, a.k.a. x -Bit Boy. All right, so you guys know, a lot of you guys know my history with Ben. Basically, that's been non-existent because I've stayed an arm length away, arm length away from Ben. And that's because Ben, of course, is a controversial guy to say the least. However, I've always stayed friendly because I feel like, you know, he has helped me in the past. I met him a couple times this year while filming the next Crypto Gem. We had dinner once also, so it was, we were friendly, right? And uh, 2021, I mentioned this, he helped me cover F2 Pool, which brought a lot of attention to my channel and help me grow. So that's the reason why I've always stayed away from Ben because you know, I didn't want to be part of all the controversial things that he has been part of or mm -hmm. has caused or been accused of, right? There has been a lot of things. Anyways. So with all that said, during his hardships during the last month or so i have been trying to um console him so we see we see the back back end story about all this if you want to see all of that um go to his video i was going to know from my experience he is definitely not a scammer and he tried very Talking about, you know, when Ben in the video said uh, that billionaire was a scammer and the it was making fun of that short guy. The he was um saying that they're not scammers. It's very hard even to be friendly with Ben. Ben even said that in his video about replacing Cassie with Peter of Wise. Now, I have talked to Peter before. He does have a project called Wise, and he has a hundred million dollars of Wise locked in into Uniswap. He has a very unique system. Now, I'm not an investor of Wise. I have no ties to Wise other than talking to Peter and learning about his DeFi vision. He is definitely a very smart DeFi guy, right? Now, Ben tried to call him out, saying that somehow it's fishy. 
because there's low volume and it's making very little money. Well, so does that make it not legit? I mean, his own screenshot proved that there was $100 million locked in. You can't fake that. It's not fake. <laughs> so even though there may be low volume, doesn't change the fact that the guy may have the largest liquidity pool on Uniswap with over $100 million. It doesn't change the fact that he is a very smart guy. He might not be. Again, like, if he's got the main, major, major volume of him, it's a scary thing, like, for them to just dump it when it goes up. So, yeah. You're right for the role of being COO of Bencoin, but still, that was an honest, that was an honest referral, recommendation. And somehow Ben have turned a nice gesture into an attack. Attack on who? I don't know. Cassie? I don't know if that's how Ben sees it. Like somehow that's attack on Cassie. I mean, that just shows you what Brian is about, right? He makes recommendations. He connects people and you do what you want with that, right? It might not be the right connection, but again, utilizing that as a negative makes no sense. Now, everything else that was said about Brian, how he's part of all these, you know, groups like Forbes, 40 under 40 and, and all those th things. I don't know. Could be true. Could not be true. Why does it matter? It doesn't change the fact that he's not a scammer and he tried to help. And somehow this is being turned on him. And he even reached out through it together. Okay. And I'm just saying, it's great when you tell half the story, mm. but then you don't cover the missing elements of the story. Then, of course, it looks one side. Like um, the jigsaw puzzle is like picking and choosing which parts to put in, and he's not finishing the puzzle and looks like you're correct that's <laughs> I think people know people know better I didn't even have to really address it but I did okay because you know I just feel like like I said at the beginning I stayed arm arm length away from Ben I didn't want to be part or caught in any of the the controversial things but you know, now he's attacking people that I'm close with, right? So I have to address it. I'm not gonna attack Ben, okay? I'm not. And of course, like I said, we're still working together on IFC. But still, I can't hold my tongue any longer when he starts attacking that people that I respect, people that I'm working with, because I know they are not who Ben describes them as okay they are not the evil scammers that he has portrayed and all the personal attacks on them are just a hundred percent uncalled for all right that was long i spoke for 24 minutes already so i was trying to keep this video short anyways now let's talk about the ifc since i just hinted at it the imc so hopefully he comes out with his next one soon. Crypto Jeb, uh, again, he had some family stuff going on. So hopefully he can. Yeah, so if you want to watch about IC and more information on what he said about Ben and all the stuff about those um, billionaires, go on to Georgie's channel, um, Crypto R Us, and watch the full video. So again, here we go. The drama continues. The drama continues. So there's going to be more videos, I reckon, and updates on Ben and stuff like that. So thumbs up if you want me to carry on doing my own little thing on Ben and the drama. And comment below and all that jazz. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bear Market's still here. We're going to be going into the bull market soon. People are going to be laughing. People are going to be crying. People are going to be moaning. Anyway, love you all. Till next time. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos.